Sundays with Scout Day. I'm Amanda and this is Scout and today we are going to be making dog friendly charcuterie boards. So um, if you don't know a charcuterie board is basically just a board with a bunch of different snacks on it and a nice little assortment that's supposed to look nice and pretty and we are going to be making them for our dogs. So these are perfect for like dog parties, the birthday celebrations, um, nice little treat for when we have gatherings with our humans, if we want something nice for the dogs. So we got um, so many dog friendly supplies and we are going to be getting started. So for today, our charcuterie board, of course we got a board and we got a little dipping bowl. These were both at um, Home Goods for a good price. These were super cute. We have bananas, we have some cheese, we also have some dog friendly things too, like treats, just so that there's a little bit something familiar for them. We got shredded carrots, blueberries, pretzels, we got some dairy free yogurt, and some peanut butter. So we're going to be making a little bit of a little smorgasbord here. So the awesome thing about charcuterie boards is they're 100% customizable. You can do anything that your dog likes. So we went with stuff that was tailored towards him, but feel free to do anything that is of your dog's liking. So the first thing we're gonna do is start to prep our bananas. And we'll cut these so that we can put them on the board really nice. You like these while I'm doing this? <laughs> I'm a banana. So again, the perfect thing about charcuterie boards is you can make them look however you want to. So you can keep these in whole pieces, you can cut them down the middle, you can cut them into little slices. Whatever works for you, make it look nice. I'm gonna prep all of the food first and then place it on the board just so that I can understand like what it's gonna look like before I start doing the placement. Ready to go? On the piece. Good boy, you're being so good. No, it's just like, where are you going? Um, we're not done yet. Sit. <laughs> and some cheese. And one of the other ingredients that we got is cheese, which is actually a pretty popular ingredient for human charcuterie boards as well. Um, Scout loves cheese, and I know a lot of dogs do too. So we got a nice cheese block that we're gonna split into little sections. You also want to make sure too that you're going based off of what your dog breed is and what the size of your dog is because if um you know these big bananas could be a choking hazard for some dogs so you want to make sure that you're cutting them appropriately to your dog excuse me <laughs> excuse me okay we're gonna let's save that for later here you can have another banana there you go okay look at you <laughs> you don't want it is it not ripe enough for you <laughs> All right, so we're gonna cut this into not too small pieces because we don't want it to be a choking hazard, but thin enough. Our slice of cheese are about this size. And our bananas we did in just little circles. All right, so the two things that we really needed to cut and prep were the bananas and the cheese. We bought pre-shredded carrots. If yours are bigger, if you go with something else that you need to prep, um, feel free to obviously cut those appropriately as well. But we're gonna start Plating. Look at this go. Want a carrot? <laughs> this might be one of his favorite Sundays. Oh, you don't like that? <laughs> there you go. So we got this little um, dish so that we could put our yogurt in it just to kind of act as like a cute little dipping sauce per se. So we are gonna put that in there. We got two little yogurts. No, you're gonna fall off the chair. Oh god, I made a mess. There you go. This is kind of cute to like resemble a little hummus or something. All right, so we put our yogurt in our bowl. That's the first step because that's the biggest part of the plate. So we'll decide where we want it to go. I'm gonna bring the camera over here so that you can see us plating it and see how we like to set it up. A little taste. Go ahead. There you go. All right, so like I said, we have our yogurt and we're already, all right. So we're gonna put that in the corner. I think it's cute there. And it's acting as kind of like a little dipping sauce. And we got some pretzels. So I'm gonna put some pretzels near it. He left already. All right, we'll put some pretzels next to it as a cute little 
And you might find as you're making it that you want to fill some in as you go too, so that's okay. All right, leave it. <laughs> Next, I'm going to put some of the cheese on. I might actually cut it a little bit more. I might cut it in halves, just so it's a little bit smaller on the board. I'm going to put that here. Put the cheese going across. Look at that scout. I'm gonna try to break it up with a little bit of color in the middle. So I'm gonna put our carrots in the middle. Kind of draw some attention. In the middle. And around here, we have some little blank space here. I think I'm gonna fill it in with some of Scout's treats. Just so that it's a little bit, not just all human food, but also has some dog stuff incorporated too. You want one? There you go. Now, if you want to make one that's human and dog friendly, obviously you can just keep out the dog treats and just do all the human snacks. But since this one is specifically gonna be shared with my dog, I know that he's gonna like these. These are his favorite treats. Here you go. Okay, <laughs> get out of here. Next, what we have is I think our banana. So what I am planning on doing, Scout, can you sit? Is taking the banana and a little bit of peanut butter I'm using the peanut butter to keep it on the charcuterie board. Just adds a little bit of flavor as well as looks nice and on top of banana. So I'm just gonna smear it a little bit across the board just to look nice. Here. And, all right. <laughs> and then smear that. It'll help the blueberries stay on too, since the blueberries will kind of roll around. But peanut butter and banana taste good together, so we'll do a little of both. So we have that. I might put a little extra right here for some of the blueberries to stick. <laughs> Scout. Sprinkle some blueberries on there. Again, just giving it some color. I tried to get as many of his favorite things that he likes. They're also colorful. These ones I'm gonna pile on because they can kind of stack on top of each other and it looks kind of cute, it gives it some dimension. And last, we have his little jerky that he loves. I'm gonna take some of these and break them into smaller pieces and put that on his board as well. And like I said earlier, you might find that you have a little bit of a blank, blank space. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more pretzels. You can even dip some of them too, that might be pretty. Just to kind of have like covered pretzels. There we go. So it's that simple, you guys. It was that easy. All I did was just pick out some of his favorite things. Everything obviously very dog friendly, dog safe. And he's obviously excited to dig in, so <laughs> we're gonna let him. But if you guys liked this video, please give it a share. We are on all social media at Blula Blog, B-L-U-L-A-B-L-O-G. Um, and keep an eye out for all of our other Sundays with Scout videos as well, where we do all sorts of things with you and your dog in the kitchen where you can bake, cook, we do arts and crafts and so much more. So keep an eye out for next week's episode as well and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, I hope you guys have a good week and I hope you enjoy the charcuterie board with your dogs. You ready to eat, Scout? Go ahead, you have a blueberry.